Well, guys, this YouTuber's Xbox Series X got bricked, and uh, this is the end of the line for Xbox. You know what I mean? This is like the new Red Ring of Death. Uh, n no, it's not. No, it's not. I mean, to be fair, he probably did something really fucking stupid. Let's talk about that. Roll the intro. Man, I haven't said that in ages. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, folks? How you been? I'm doing wonderful. I truly do hope everyone's having an amazing day. And actually, today is a pretty special day in history. So um, it's November 10th, Tuesday, 2020. This is the first day a next generation console is releasing. The Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S are finally released to the public to use. Man, it's crazy to think that every eight years a new console generation comes out. Now, like I still remember being in like fifth grade I think it was fifth grade, it might have been fourth when the PS4 released and then seeing it on Christmas under my fucking, like, my Christmas tree and it was like the most amazing thing ever. Like at the time, I was really fortunate enough to get it because a lot of people didn't get next gen consoles on Christmas. Um, it usually wasn't like a huge thing, but a good amount of people did as well. It was just all around an amazing experience. To be quite frank, I didn't start using it till like maybe a year or so later, back when like Battlefield 4 released, because all I had was like free trials on my PlayStation. So like, you know, the struggle was fucking real. <laughs> Either way, I still use the shit on my Xbox 360 Slim for like another two years after that anyway, because I played BO2 all day, every day. I was a demon at that game, but uh, yeah. Anyway, let me give you guys a little history lesson before we decide to jump straight into the video. Ever since the Xbox 360 released and had the Red Ring of Death, people have truly feared another one. The Red Ring of Death was an internal hardware failure between the console's power adapter, and uh, it cost Microsoft up to a billion dollars in repercussions. Yeah, probably not the best thing, you know what I mean, to happen to them, but in the end, they did win the console war that year. One thing that I can say is that both parties have definitely had their fair share of going back and forth, but I can definitely say I think Xbox has always kind of remained on top hardware-wise. The Xbox One X was the strongest console to date, and now the Xbox Series X is also, once again, the strongest console to date, but the PS3 was actually stronger than the Xbox 360. I'll tell you what though, a lot of these consoles tend to get very hot on the inside, the PS4, the Xbox One were pretty fucking hot. Like, let's just be honest. If you have a PS4, you understand that your shit sounds like a fucking jet engine. I was playing a game with one of my PS4 friends yesterday, and it literally sounded like he was playing in a fucking airport. Okay, that shit was not good. I remember playing my PS4. Mind you, I had the first generation one, so it makes a lot of sense, but that shit would literally just overheat and shut off in the middle of gameplay. Consoles do get pretty fucking hot. I mean, the PS4 runs at a solid 65 degrees Celsius on a stress test, and I'm gonna be honest, if my PC ran at its highest and it was only 65 degrees Celsius, I'd be happy. Oh, I'd be so happy. The Xbox gets 62 degrees Celsius on its stress test. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know how that's possible with only one fan in it. Now you guys do understand how it goes, new consoles, new tech, new hardware, so people are going to be a little concerned, especially about heating and hardware, things like that. But uh, Poppy G Funk over on YouTube, never heard of him before, apparently his Xbox Series X is broken. Oh no, what happened? Let's take a look. Yo, yo, what are you to miss me, Papa G Pump? Yo, yo, what are you to miss me, Papa G Pump? What the fuck did he just say? Was this motherfucker even speaking English? I honestly have no idea. I think he said, yo, what up, YouTube? But when he said it, he was like, yo, what up, what up, what did you pop G pop? That's a big no for me. Well, sir, everybody, so today is a sad day because my new Xbox, as you can see right there, actually stopped working yes so it no longer works whatsoever so let me actually show you guys the issue so here we do have the xbox and also the controller so the controller itself doesn't work at all so if i press it it's not going to turn on the xbox anymore so basically the bluetooth connectivity to the xbox no longer exists anymore so as you can see the xbox is actually turned off already so let me actually turn it on so you can see what I'm actually seeing on my screen. So there you go. So it's on and it should be already booting up on my TV, right? Nope, nothing. No display whatsoever, nothing. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> now from what it looks like, it looks like his Xbox will not post. It won't post on a monitor, it won't post on a TV, nothing. His Bluetooth connectivity is down as well. Now it seems more of as an internal hardware area. 
airier english anyway error now it is common for things like this to happen but it seems like there's a little more sinister work at play here rather than just uh it won't post let's keep watching it's on hdmi 2 and nothing is coming up so basically this is the black screen of death why is it the black screen of death because you can't see anything <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i'm here to inform you that the black screen of death is not a fucking thing this guy is an absolute moron so uh yeah don't believe him for that no shit, you can't see anything. It has nothing to do with your HDMI, my friend. It has something to do more or less with your uh, Xbox just not wanting to post due to an internal hardware failure. Now, we'll get into that a little bit more soon. And let's continue. So there's no display whatsoever, uh, which is weird. It's on, as you can see. And a lot of people might be saying it might be the disc. I don't think it's a disc drive because I could insert disc. And then I can all I can also eject it. So there you go. So it's not a disk drive problem. Um, I don't think it's the fan as well because the fan, uh, the air actually comes out as well. So it's not the fan. It might be the hard drive. That's one thing that I kind of think it is. The hard drive might be corrupted or something like that. I am also here to inform you guys that the Xbox Series S does not have a hard drive. It has a solid state drive, which is a faster hard drive and has less ability to fucking die. The one thing I can congratulate you on is the fact that you know it's not the disk drive because it wouldn't be the disk drive because the console is not posting. So why the fuck would it be the disk drive? But other than that, it's weird, man. As you can tell, there's nothing on my screen. No display, nothing. It's connected by the HDMI on the back and uh, nothing. So pretty much my Xbox, my new Xbox is broken. So just a quick video because a lot of people have been saying that this video is fake and all these things. A lot of people are saying that Xbox actually sent me this Xbox for free. No, they didn't. So that's actually a lie. Xbox doesn't send me anything for free. I actually buy it with my own money. So just a quick video for you guys, letting you guys know that my Xbox, my new Xbox is officially broken. <laughs> yes, it is. So I actually called Xbox support. I told them about this issue. They told me that they couldn't do anything about it to send it in for repair. And that within 10 to 14 business days, they're going to send me a new Xbox, which uh, you guys might be saying, damn, man, that's a lot of freaking time to wait for your new Xbox. Yes, it is. But luckily, I actually have an extra one coming soon. So I'm not to worry about that. So I can actually wait and um, let Xbox fix this issue. And once they fix this issue, they can send me a brand new one or basically send me the same one, but just fix. And um, I'll be happy. I'll be satisfied. So on a uh, semi funny note about this guy's uh, whole situation is that Mike Microsoft confirmed it is indeed their fault. Now what's funny about it is that uh, actually Microsoft confirmed the reason that his Xbox is uh, not working is because he showed the user interface of the Xbox Series X console on his YouTube channel before he was supposed to. He broke NDA so they broke this console. I actually got this story from uh, Rich from Review Tech and uh, the one thing I can definitely say is uh, I can't put anything a little differently than the way he says it. So excuse me in that aspect. But you gotta be a real moron to break NDA. His video was posted November 6th. It is currently November 10th. So you know what that means? He can do as he pleases on November 10th because the console is released to the general public. Now, why you'd want to be the first? No idea. Not worth it. Views, I guess? I don't know. But look at you. Now you have a broken fucking Xbox because they fried it on you. The one thing I will say is you're very lucky because they definitely could have sued you for this. They could have sued you for everything you have. You're lucky this isn't Sony because they probably most definitely would have came for your throat with this. I would say he's pretty lucky that Microsoft is a lot more user friendly nowadays because this had happened a couple years ago. He definitely would have gotten fried again. He's not the first moron to do this and he's not going to be the last, that's for sure. So uh, yeah, that's why his Xbox isn't working. They blocked it. There was nothing wrong with it. Microsoft made something be wrong with it. All because you broke NDA. Now, if you're not sure what NDA means, it is a non-disclosure agreement. So any basic information about the next generation of the Xbox consoles was supposed to be confidential between the user and the company until launch day. And now he's stuck with a brick console. He says he has another one on the way, I guess. I mean, it's whatever. But man, I bet you he feels stupid. Now that'll be all for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. 
I will be announcing a Discord server soon. It'll be a joint Discord server with a few friends of mine. Make sure you follow me on Twitter to see all the dumb shit I do. I have an Instagram as well and a TikTok if you want to go follow that. All my socials will be in the description. Check out all my other videos, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Thank you.